Hey guys, uh, so I'm editing the Arizona vlogs, or vlog I guess the first one right now, um, and I'm realizing how overexposed this footage is, so it looks like a lot of it is kind of blown out. I'll try to salvage what I can. Um, I don't know, there's something weird with my GoPro, like when I go outside, then it just blows everything out, and it takes like a solid like 15 to 20 seconds for it to actually focus on something like a tree uh, so I need to like look into probably resetting it or something I don't know um, but it's really annoying because like there's so much of this that I'm just so mad that it's like overexposed like it's a lot of the stuff outside and I think I actually got better footage on my phone so I'll probably um, when we're like looking at like some of the towns and things that are outside I'll probably put in footage from my phone because it's so much better quality um, But just a heads up that I'm pretty much just gonna salvage like whatever I can from this vlog uh, With the overexposure that it was with my GoPro um, So yeah, you guys kind of missed the entire first story of the vlog which was about our car basically the um the whole like story was that I had pre-booked a car because we had our flights and all that stuff I pre-booked a car and then um, When we showed up they wouldn't accept my debit card because my debit card doesn't actually have my name on it because I don't know I guess it's just something that our bank doesn't do or like I don't know my dad's doesn't have his name on his debit credit either um, my sister doesn't have it on hers like it's multiple banks that just don't do it I guess up here so none of us had our uh, debit visas that had our name on it so they wouldn't accept it even if I gave them like multiple IDs and I like logged into my TD bank app like right in front of them and showed them that I have the money they wouldn't take cash they wouldn't do anything like that um, not even my visa card has my actual name on it so I don't understand like what the issue is like they're saying that they can't accept something without a name but none of mine had the name none of my sisters had the name so it was just like a huge huge mess and um, we were like panicking because we had no other way to get to our our um, Airbnb, which was like an hour and a half away. <clears throat> uh, or no, it wasn't even an hour and a half. It was three hours. It was three hours up north. So we didn't have a way to get there, and we were supposed to be there that day. So we were kind of panicking. And then some guy um, uh, was able to help us out and like set us up with a smaller uh, rental company. So we ended up, <clears throat> excuse me, we ended up getting a car. Uh, from them, they lent us the car for the entire, I guess it was like five days or something that we were there. Um, we were allowed to go anywhere in the state of Arizona. We weren't allowed to exit Arizona or else we'd have to pay. But we were unlimited mileage or whatever. Uh, so that was cool. That was really nice of them. So props to them. And yeah, we had a huge adventure with this car. It was awesome. Um, it was good bonding between my sister and I. But I'm so sorry about the overexposure. But there's not much I can do. I've tried to fiddle with it and it's absolutely awful. Like, I'll show you what I'm working with. So this, this is what I'm working with. You can't even, it doesn't even do it justice. Like, there's no, nothing. <laughs> like, there's nothing I can do. When I say that I've tried, I have tried. Like, I have looked up tutorials and everything. I can't figure it out. So, I'm just gonna have to cut that stuff out. Um, Sorry, <laughs> but yeah, hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Alright guys, we are in the Airbnb. It was a little bit of a tricky situation because we didn't really know exactly where we were going. We came to the town of Chloride, <clears throat> but we went different directions than the GPS and I didn't have Wi-Fi so I couldn't reread the ad um, saying to not follow GPS because it gets you lost. Um, so we just kind of drove around in circles. We asked a local um, and he gave us like kind of-ish directions. Um, um, but we're here, so I don't want to give you guys a tour right now because it's dark out. It's like, that's not the real time. I think it's like close to 6.30 now. 
So there's no point in showing it right now, but I'll do a quick tour tomorrow. Um, we're pretty tired, so we're probably just gonna, like, go to bed. Um, it's technically three hours ahead back in Canada, so we're pretty sleepy. We've been up since 4 a.m., and neither of us really slept the night before. So I do want to show you my room, though, quick. So this is really cute. So this is my super um, American room. It is so cute. <laughs> and I kind of want to do it in my room, like put like a Canada flag or maybe like when I get my van or something, I'll put Canada flags on the top. But it is so cute how patriotic it is. Anyways, we're going to go to bed, but we'll see you tomorrow and I'll give you a tour. And um, yeah. We'll walk around the property and there's some deer, but I think they're gone now. There's some deer out front. Yeah, the deer look gone. So anyways, we'll talk to you later. Good morning guys, it's the next day. Today's what, Thursday? Yeah. Thursday? Yeah. So this is our first day in, uh, like first full day in Arizona. We flew in yesterday. Um, got a little lost, but we finally got back to the Airbnb around dinner time. Um, unfortunately, in Chloride, everything kind of closes at 5, 5.30, and we got here at like 6 or 5.36, so we didn't really have time to do anything. Um, it was also starting to get dark down here, so there was no point in trying to show you guys around uh, this cute little cabin that's on Airbnb. So figured it's daylight now, do it really quick. So let's start at the front door. So when you walk into the Airbnb, this is what it looks like. This is exactly like the pictures had it too. So they have the nice red counters, this little, I don't know what it used to be, but it's the garbage thing now, so that's kind of cute. And I walk around the kitchen, there's a little stove. This does work. I don't know if the oven works, um, but the stove is hooked up to propane. And then they have all this nice little decor around to showcase um, like the characteristics of the town and stuff like that. There's a lot of people that have um, like this type of rustic art um, on their properties and they make like sculptures and stuff. We got the pantry, the little old time fridge that all we have is pop and green juice in. And she's got like a lot of these little things just located all around. So like she's got like little cactuses and she set out some Halloween stuff as well um, to just kind of suit the mood. This was kind of cool. So this is just like everybody, I guess, like puts some money up there or like to show different places of the money, what it looks like. Um, I guess people that have been here and visited. This is the sunroom or like living room. This wall is kind of cool. Um, I think on the other side of this wall, there's a door that goes to the closet of what I'm staying in, the room I'm staying in. But again, she's got like all this little decor across it. So very, very rustic cabin feeling. They got their guest book. They have tin roofs, which Nicole and I are both really fond of. Little uh, couch, and I think that door works. It's locked right now, though. And yeah, this is a little living room. If you look out here, okay, I guess I won't look out here because the sun is blinding it out. Focus, there we go. So they have a porch swing and all that stuff outside. That it looks like a little garden. Um, I'll take you outside later though when we walk around the property. So then you go in here and this is the room that I'm staying in. Ignore the stuff on the bed that's all mine, but this is very, very American. <laughs> very American. So this was like this when they got this place a year ago, she was saying, and like she's kind of added things like the stuff on the doors and the frames and little knickknacks and stuff like that. Um, but very, very kind of uh, old town feeling. And this, um, this is the room that Nicole's staying in. So again, she found all this stuff, added all this. Like grandma suite? Yeah, it's pretty much like a grandma suite is what she calls it. So she's got the grandma suite and I got the good old America. And we just have some towels set out here um, just to kind of air them out. They've been in a cupboard the whole time. So this is like an old time tub. So you can kind of see underneath all the towels and stuff. It's literally like an old... <laughs> old tub, tub and shower set so I'm pretty excited to have a shower later and um, yeah just like really cute little cabin this place um, was uh, like from the 1900s it said on their Airbnb posting 
Um, so it's from the 1900s, and they got it last year. They moved down from Vegas, so they've only been living around here for about a year. Um, they rent this out, and they live across uh, on the property, but their property is actually pretty big. Um, they have wild deer and stuff like that, which um, would be from yesterday that you guys would have seen. They have rabbits. They got some coyotes, but they said that they, the coyotes don't really come out very much. Um, what else do they say? Roadrunners. Road they have roadrunners. Um, rattlesnakes obviously are a big thing out in the desert and scorpions things like that so I'm hoping we see more wildlife but we're gonna take a road trip today and see what we can find and hit up route 66 because if we're here we might as well do that aliens. and aliens <laughs> she thinks we're gonna find some aliens maybe maybe <laughs> anyways we're gonna see you guys in a few minutes okay so I'm gonna show you the outside really quick because it's really cute so this <clears throat> little barbecue and stuff and I guess they do all their gardening they got all the soil and stuff they grow a lot of their own food that they eat so they have their little gardens here and they have a greenhouse I think behind their price so this marks the property but the property actually goes like up around their trailer up that way and over all the way across down and up like this so <clears throat> there's not really a whole lot to see over here to be honest <laughs> mainly just the cacti the huge cacti, which is weird. Have you looked at this? <laughs> you look so Arizona. <laughs> so we can sit out here. Oh, they're really wet because it rained last night. Poured rain last night. It was a thunderstorm. We were just talking to him about it yesterday. How it only rained. Um, like once or twice, like downpoured rain once or twice this year. Um, and then literally last night, it fucking thunderstormed. <laughs> so I guess we just bring the bad luck from Canada because it's pouring rain there too. But this is kind of nice. I like this uh, little swing out here. I wish it was sunnier and not so wet, but it'll do. And then he's got some sweet cars that he's working on. So they had bikes, I guess, that we could use and stuff. Little knickknacks everywhere. And he's working on those cars. If this will... Focus. All right. So are we ready to go then? Fix what? All right, we gotta fix that. Hi. You showing us around? MTV Cribs. Yeah. Welcome to my house. <laughs> Show us the fridge. We want to see the fridge. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gonna look for gold? It probably keeps going. All right, well that's it for video number one. Thank you for chiming in and I hope that you guys watch the rest of the videos because they're actually pretty cool. Like we go to the Grand Canyon, um, we go to an old Wild West town, so that was pretty neat. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys like the style of video. I have more vlogs coming, um, things that I haven't even edited from like I don't even know, 2017. Um, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. <laughs> wow, I'm forgetting what to say. Uh, leave a comment if you want. Um, and if anybody wants to get in contact with the people that have the Airbnb, I will be sure to ask them first before I post a link directly to the Airbnb. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay cool.